Season Pass, sponsored by Kelly Grimsley Kia. Welcome everyone to Season Pass. I'm your host, Ryan Reynolds. Season Pass, your one-stop shop for everything Concho Valley sports. And we have a full slate of action planned for you guys tonight. We have highlights from the high school football area round, as well as the very first time hi highlights from the high school basketball court. Five games total from high school basketball. We also have highlights and news from around Angelo State Athletics. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get right to it. Only seven Concho Valley teams remain in the high school football playoffs. Who will advance? to their respective regional finals. We start off in 3A, the Wall Hawks taking on shallow water. Can the Hawks stay unbeaten in advance to the regional semis? A great night for football late. First quarter, no score. Dominic Garcia takes it in untouched for the Hawk touchdown while taking an early 7-0 lead. And we've come to learn that once Wall holds on to a lead, it's pretty hard to come back from if you're the opposition. And here is why. After a shallow water fumble, the Hawks' offense takes advantage of it. Drew Morrison on the quarterback keeper from five yards out, while up 14 to zero, and he gets some love from QB1 Mason Fuchs, who's out the rest of the season. Gotta love that scene. The tap on the helmet. Good job, Morrison. Second quarter, Mustangs trying to get on the board, and they do. Dylan Kelly with a beautiful pass to Maverick Bryan. What a catch in the end zone! A 33-yard strike makes it 14 to six. Wall after the missed extra point, and then late in the quarter. Garcia with his second touchdown of the game runs it right up the middle and extends it for the touchdown. 21-6 all wall. That would be your halftime score as Wall advances. They down shallow water 35 to 20 to host, hoist another gold ball. Wall will take on Pilot Point in the regional semifinals. It says a lot about our kids with the amount of adversity that those guys have faced, the guys that we've had out. You know, they've taken a, a, a next man up approach. You know, they just keep filing in and keep doing a great job. You know, uh, I thought we looked pretty good both sides of the ball. Uh, they are a very good football team, very athletic. You know, they're very aggressive defensively. They do a good job of uh, running the football. They've got uh, some really good athletes on the offensive side of the ball. You know, we played them last year, so there is a, bit, a little bit of familiarity to it. And and so uh, it'll be an exciting game. Taking a look at the next matchup for Wall, the number one Wall Hawks have a date with Pilot Point in the Class 3A Division I Region 1 Regional Semifinals. A lot of regions there. Wall eliminated Pilot Point last year in the by district round 20 to 0. The Bearcats seeking revenge in 2019. Pilot Point defeated Slayton on Friday 51 to 0, coming off a huge win. That one set to begin at 6 p.m. on Friday in Graham. Number nine, El Dorado taking on 10th ranked Wheeler at Loveland High School. And this one would get out of hand. Wheeler, they're going to get on the board first. Heston Marshall takes the handoff in for a Mustangs touchdown. He beats everyone to the edge, and Marshall is no stranger to the end zone. He scored seven touchdowns last week, adds another one there. Third down for the Eagles, a handoff to Santiago Hernandez for a solid game. The Eagles just trying to get something clicking offensively. Fourth down, Kevin Caprubias trying to find Jack and Jersick. But the pass falls short, which leads to this handoff again. It's going to be Heston Marshall for another Mustangs touchdown. He sneaks in for six, and El Dorado's season comes to an end. Wheeler defeats El Dorado 65 to 13. Cristobal taking on number four Wellington in the area round. And shield your eyes, Cristobal fans, because this isn't pretty. Cougars go three and out on their first possession. A snap over the punter's head on fourth leads to a safety. And then on the ensuing drive for Wellington, Mark Ramirez pounds it in for six, just like that. Wellington leads 10 to 0 in the blink of an eye. Next skyrocket drive. After a beautiful play fake, Jaden Combs takes the misdirection the other way, and he's in the end zone as well for a touchdown. Wellington increases its lead to 18 to 0 all over the Cougars. They couldn't stop that skyrocket rushing attack. Second quarter, Cristobal, they're going to try and get back into this thing. Braden Wilcox under pressure, scrambling, buying some trying, trying to find someone, but he just throws it up like he's playing the game jackpot. That one's picked off by Creighton Killian. Cristobal's season, it comes to an end in the area round. Wellington wins 50 to 22. Number eight, Blackwell taking on Throckmorton in six man action. Blackwell gets busy right away. The snap, Joel Gee pitches it back to Michael Lowry. He's searching, he fires it back to Devin Clower. Look at that. A beautiful touchdown, 8-0. to zero. Blackwell strikes first for the early lead. Still in the first quarter, the snap, and Lowry 
looking way downfield to Joe Gee, and he's going to catch it and tumble his way in for six to put the Hornets up 16 to zero. What a season those two have had. Moving to the second quarter, let's go ahead and fast forward this thing. Lowry, he hands it off to Cameron Coldiron, who dives for it. That's another touchdown. The score is 30 to zero. First half winding down. Blackwell trying to end this thing. Austin Koonsman is in trouble. He airs one out into the waiting hands of Blackwell's Zach Panzer. Nobody in his way. He runs it in clean for the touchdown. That brings the Hornets up to a 38-0 lead. And they would end this thing early. Blackwell advances 46-0, the final score. So Blackwell secures its place in the state quarterfinals, and their next matchup is no easy test. A battle of two undefeated teams. Number eight, Blackwell taking on Jayton in the state quarterfinals. That one's set for Friday at 6.30 p.m. in Borden County. Some other high school football playoff scores. Ozona's season comes to an end in the area round to number six post. They win 28 to zero. The Ozona Lions finish eight and four. A six win improvement from 2018. A successful season for the Lions. And then the ninth ranked Mason Punchers. They survive in advance with a 41 to eight win over Waymar. Mason will face undefeated Holland in the regional semifinals. That one's set to begin Friday at 7 p.m. Buda Hayes High School, the site for that one. And then the Eden Bulldogs season is over. They drop a really close game to Jonesboro, 46 to 36. 17 Concho Valley teams punched their ticket to the playoffs. Seven survived the by district round, and only three stand tall. Coming up on season pass, we hear from Central Football Head Coach Brent Davis. We also have a signing to announce. Don't go anywhere. Season pass will return shortly. The season is here. And it's time for our best offer of the year during the Ford Black Friday event. Now, for a limited time, get 20% estimated savings on select 2019 Ford models, plus earn complimentary maintenance through Ford Pass Rewards. The Ford Black Friday event ends soon, so hurry in today. Now, get 20% estimated savings on the 2019 Ford F-150, plus earn complimentary maintenance through Ford Pass Rewards. It's the Black Friday event at your best in Texas Ford dealer. When working with electricity, there are no shortcuts or compromises. Ash Electrical Services knows there's only one way to service or maintain the electricity in your home or business. The right way. A way that employs the 25 years of experience of a certified master electrician. Prioritizing safe and diligent work that goes far beyond just meeting code requirements. From panel upgrades to lighting installation to safety inspections, Ash Electrical can do just about any service your home or business needs. Visit our website to see everything that Ash Electrical Services can do for you. Hi, I'm Mike. MGB wants to be your MVP, most valuable payer. Bring your gold, silver, and diamonds to MGB, and you'll say... I sold gold, and I like Mike. On Avenue in by Angelo State. Hey, I'm Cade. And I'm Ryan with Hill Pools and Spas. And we've been servicing West Texas since 1995. Whether you need chemicals, service repair, or installation of a new pool or spa, give us a call or visit us at the Contra Valley homepage under the Experts tab. I love that one. I love it. I love it. It's easy to fall in love with a new Chevy. I love this one, too. And this month is the perfect time to see why. Wow. I love it. That's my next truck. Find your reason to oh fall in love with a new Chevy and get a great deal all month long. I love it. I'm going to go buy a Chevy. <laughs> get a total value of over $11,500 on this Silverado Texas edition. Or during the Black Friday sales event, get 20% below MSRP on other select 2019 models. Chevy drives Texas. Find new roads. Welcome back to Season Pass. If you guys couldn't tell, there's no central highlights in the show tonight because the Bobcats season ended with a loss to Arlington Martin 69-0 in the by-district round. Even for a longtime tenured head coach like Brent Davis, the end of a season is never easy. Last week, he reflected on the season, his senior class, and likely the last year in a Metroplex heavy district in 6A. You're always a little sad when it ends, you know, when you don't quite get to where you want to go as a, you know, as a football team and a program. But, uh, you know, I'm proud of this class and this this uh, this group that we had in our senior class. It, uh, you know, they've put in a lot of hard work, uh, you know, to be where they were and kept our streak alive in the playoffs and, uh, you know, got second, tied for second in district. Uh, you know, I just think we were in a district that it, it was a tough district, but not as tough as some of those other Metroplex teams. I think that showed, you know, in, in uh, how we're all out of the uh, out of it already. 
So Central season is over, but the Bobcats were well represented when the All District 36A honors were announced. 14 Bobcats earned All District honors with senior wide receiver Tanner Dabbert nabbing offensive MVP of the district. And what a season he had. Dabbert exploded in 2019 with 71 catches for over 1,100 yards and 15 touchdowns. Eight Bobcats made the district 36A first team with three making the second team. Central was also well represented in the honorable mentions for the complete list of names. Head over to ConchoValleyHomepage.com. The Water Valley Lady Wildcats were the last Concho Valley High School volleyball team left standing last week as the team competed in the UIL State Tournament. Water Valley taking on Round Top Carmine in the Class 1A State Semifinal. And there is that final. The Lady Wildcats season comes to an end in four sets to the Cubs. An incredible season for Water Valley. Another Concho Valley athlete signed her letter of intent to continue her athletic career at the collegiate level. Skylar Brooks from Miles High School. We saw her play on the volleyball team this season, but she committed to the University of North Carolina last Monday to play softball. Brooks is believed to be the first Miles athlete to go Division I with one more season to go. Brooks has been an All-State selection twice. She was named All-West Texas Hitter of the Year and is ranked 13th in the country in the class of 2020. The atmosphere there is a, is a lot different than any of the places that I experienced. And I think for me, it was, I love the coaching staff there. I, I love the, the championship atmosphere that they have going. And so for me, it was, a, it, was a, it was a good fit. This is a day that I've been waiting on since I first started playing when I was a little kid. And so today I kind of got to sign off on, on that dream to get it going. It's, it's awesome. It's a cool thing to, to be, be the first and, you know, kind of get that and pave the way for some of the kids that, you know, were in the stands because I was there at one point watching other people sign and um, so it's cool being the first one but I, I hope I'm not the last. The season is here. And it's time for our best offer of the year during the Ford Black Friday event. Now, for a limited time, get 20% estimated savings on select 2019 Ford models, plus earn complimentary maintenance through Ford Pass Rewards. The Ford Black Friday event ends soon, so hurry in today. Now, get 20% estimated savings on the 2019 Ford F-150, plus earn complimentary maintenance through Ford Pass Rewards. It's the Black Friday event at your best in Texas Ford dealer. Are you the ghost of Christmas past? Nah, I'm the future of shopping. It's Black Friday at Hans Home Plus. Doorbusters start at 5 p.m. Thanksgiving. Get an LG 75-inch 4K TV for only $699.99. Plus, get a free recliner with furniture purchase. Friday, starting at 8 a.m., get an LG 70-inch 4K TV, just $599.99. Save up to 50% on black tag appliances. Plus, get an extra 10% off packages. Doors open 5 p.m. Thanksgiving and 8 a.m. Friday. <laughs> Just about every big business in town knows Santex air filters, their service, and their quality. From the SAISD to Hirschfield to Rio Concho, now you can have the same quality air filters and service for your home. Come into Santex's office and buy one filter or buy in bulk, or you can have them make a custom sized filter while you wait. Santex Services also delivers to businesses as far as Sonora, Ozona, Abilene, Midland, and Odessa. Santex filters and services are trusted by our business community. Let them earn your trust too. Santex for your business and now for your home. Santex Services Incorporated, 64 East Avenue K. Gift of all, it's Happy Honda Days, where you can find clearance deals on select 2019 Honda vehicles. Visit your local Honda dealer today. That's all right. Welcome back, everyone. For the first time on Season Pass, we have high school basketball highlights. Five games from across the Concho Valley, beginning with the Central Bobcats last Tuesday. The season opener for the Bobcats against Del Rio at Babe Diedrichson Gym. Just under three minutes left in the fourth quarter central down 12. Vincent Lara gets the floater to fall. Let the comeback begin. Now under a minute left down nine. Lara with the dish to Chance Fields. He knocks down the three. It's now a six-point ball game. 15 seconds remaining down by three. Tristan Lopez with the pass to Jason Durate. And he gives it back to Lopez. Pumps and gets the shot to fall. They're still down, though. On one, still down one. Second free throw is good by Del Rio. It's a two point game. Last chance. Laura heaves up the prayer, but it's blocked, and the Bobcats fall to Del Rio 74 to 72. 
Ozona taking on the Lady Eagles at TLCA. First half, Ozona's Rodriguez is found on the fast break. She hits the mid-range jumper. TLCA leads by two still after that shot. Later in the half, Ozona still trailing. TLCA's Sanchez is open for three, and she nails it. Ozona trails by five, but TLCA would get that back. An inbound pass for TLCA's Kate Kirkland. It's going to be tipped right here, but still gets it to her, and she hits the three. TLCA back on top by eight, and then we go seconds before the half. Ozona climbs back. Ortiz finds herself in the right place at the right time, gets the put-back layup. Ozona trailed by four at the half, and they claw all the way back. The Lady Lions win 48-44. to New head coach Chris Slicky and the very best Lady Falcons taking on Brooke Smith. We pick it up in the third quarter. Bella Halfman finds Kennedy Wheelis under the basket for the easy points. She puts it off the glass and in. Very best leading 15-13. to Fourth quarter now. And the Lady Falcons add to their lead. Zoe Bratcher finds the open lane and gets the easy layup to go. Very best increases their lead to five later. Bratcher again finding space, fights through contact, and gets the layup to fall. The night belonged to Very Best. Slicky picks up his first win as the head coach of Very Best. Lady Falcons win 39 to 24. 24 miles over to Grape Creek, where the Lady Eagles battled El Dorado. Fourth quarter, El Dorado with a seven-point lead. Victoria DeHannis misses the shot, but Cody Metter is there to clean it up with contact. A couple minutes later, DeHannis again being aggressive. She misses the first, but gets the second one to fall. El Dorado up 34-21. to 21. Grape Creek having to play catch-up at this point. Daphne Vigil finds Kimmy Salisbury with the nice bounce pass and one. She would miss the free throw. El Dorado wins 37-23. to 23. Then it was the boys' turn. Grape Creek taking on the Menard Yellow Jackets. First quarter, and check this dime. Willem finds Steele, who puts it in. Can't get any easier than that. We'll see a lot more of Steele in this highlight tape minutes later. Check out this ball movement by Grape Creek. Duncan to Huerta, who finds Steele for the bucket. Eagles trailing by two early on, but they would tie it on the next possession. And guess who's there to clean it up, guys? It's Steele again. Gets the board and puts it in. Menard led 11-10 to 10 after one, but Grape Creek finds a rhythm. They win 65 to 44. Don't go anywhere. Season pass. Be right back. I love that one. I love it. I love it. It's easy to fall in love with a new Chevy. I love this one too. And this wow. month is the perfect time to see why. Wow. I love it. That's my next truck. Find your reason to oh fall in love with a new God. Chevy and get a great deal all month long. I love it. I'm going to go buy a Chevy. <laughs> right now, during the Black Friday sales event, get 20% below MSRP on select 2019 models or get 15% below MSRP on most 2020 Equinox models. That's over $6,100 below MSRP on this Equinox. Furniture Row's Black Friday Super Sale. Out? Nope. Shop today for huge savings store-wide. Plus seven years, no interest financing. And best of all, the more you buy, the more you save. No limit. Or get free gifts with qualifying purchase. But I got a tent. It really is a great tent. The Black Friday Super Sale, only at Furniture Row. Hi, I'm Mike. MGB wants to be your MVP, most valuable payer. Bring your gold, silver, and diamonds to MGB, and you'll say... I sold gold, and I like Mike. On Avenue Inn by Angelo State. I did some early shopping this year. One for you, one for me. I love it. I got us a little something, too. Yeah? Yep. One for you. And one for me. I love it. Oh, actually, that was supposed to be for me. I love it. I like red. Get over 9,200 total value on this next generation GMC Sierra Denali. Plus, get 750 auto show purchase cash, and eligible GM owners get an additional 1,000 purchase cash. Visit Mitchell Buick GMC in San Angelo. Welcome back to Season Pass. The opening chapter of the Jeff Gersh era at Angelo State has come to a close as the Rams end the regular season with an 8 and 3 overall record. Gersh wasn't kidding when he said during preseason media day that this would not be a rebuild year for the Rams. As he explained during the press conference last week, the goal was to set a foundation to build an 8 and 3 record. And every defensive starter returning, that's a pretty solid foundation. 
They talked about, you know, building a foundation, you know, building something that we can uh, continue to build on top of. You know, we want to be playing meaningful football games, you know, the last game of the year. And if you are, you're a successful football program. And that's something that we did this year. You know, uh, um, you know, it's exciting with this group coming back. You know, defensively, we don't lose a single starter. You know, we have unbelievable talent coming up in this program the, the last couple of years in recruiting. But, uh, you know, I'm excited for it. And, and these guys will have their head on right and understand the, the conference championship is the way to go to get those uh, rankings where you want. The Lone Star Conference postseason awards for, foot, for football were announced last Friday. Headlining the list, Jeff Gersh, who you just heard from, winning co-coach of the year, sharing the honor with Tarleton head coach. Other winners include Kiki Chisholm, the lone representative on the first team offense, Jakiri and Letty French were named to the defensive first team. Lawson AO nabbed a spot on the second team offense, and Hunter Kyle, Devin Washington, and Derek D. Derek Deep Derrickson were named to the second team defense. Seven additional Rams were named honorable mentions as well. A bit of a tongue twister. 25 and 2, 17 and 1 in the Lone Star Conference. Undefeated at home, it's safe to say the Angelo State Bells rolled through the volleyball season. In return comes the hardware. The LSE announced its yearly awards. And Angelo State might need to rent a truck to take all of these home. That's an exaggeration, of course. But get a pen and a paper to track all this. The Bells had seven total honorees. Head coach Chuck Waddington was tabbed LSE Coach of the Year for the third time in his career. Kalen Gilbreth was named Offensive Player of the Year after finishing the regular season ranked third in the LSC in hitting percentage and fourth in kills per set. She was also named first team all conference and an all academic player along with Sophia Berg. Megan Parker is the LSC Academic Player of the Year. She also earned first team all conference. Sandera Chin rounding out the first team for the second straight year. Along with them, Lindsay Ledyard tabs second team all conference honors. Berg, McKenna Henson, and Haley Coulter earn honorable mentions. Which brings us to the LSC tournament. The Bells, the two seed, taking on seven seed to UTPB in the quarterfinals Thursday. First set, Gilbreth with the kill. Bells lead 23-22. Then Gilbreth with another kill. The Bells would go on to take the first set 25 to 22. Now, in set two, set point, Megan Parker with the serve. The Falcons setting up the attack with Sof Sophia Berg blocks it. They take the set 25 to 17. Match point now going for the sweep. Gilbert's serve goes off of Falcon out of bounds, and the Bells get the sweep. They advance to the tournament semifinals. Which brings us here. Can the Bells advance again? Angelo State battling Arkansas Fort Smith for a spot in the title match. And this was, was an exciting one. First set tied at 29. Lady Lions looking for the advantage, and they get the shot to go off McKenna Henson. UAFS takes the lead. Angelo State trying to get it back. Kaylin Gilbreth's kill attempt is shut down. That's blocked, and Fort Smith takes the first set. Second set now, and the Bells, they get back into rhythm. Haley Coulter throws it down with authority. That's what Angelo State fans like to see, starting to get some rhythm going. And then Hansen with the serve. Lady Lions can't get a hold of it. Bells take the second set and the match in a five-set thriller. Angelo State advances to the LSC championship game. And this is where it all comes together. Yesterday's final, there's the graphic. We had to kind of build up the, uh, the uh, anticipation there, the LSC Tournament Championship. And look at that. Angelo State is your Lone Star Conference champion after outlasting Tarleton in five sets. LSC Offensive Player of the Year, Kalen Gilbreth, led the Bells attack with a team-high 15 kills. First-team All-Conference member, Sandera Chin, added nine. Megan Parker and Lindsey Ledyard combined for 46 assists. Defensively, Henson registered a game-high 24 digs. The NCAA Division II South Central Regional is set to begin December 5th. And with Regis University losing yesterday, actually Friday, there's a great chance Angelo State will host that regional. Find out during the selection show tomorrow at 6.30 p.m. on NCAA.com. Both Angelo State basketball teams return to the Janelle Center Saturday to open up Lone Star Conference play, starting with the Bells. And look at this. She hits the shot and in. And then later, it's going to be Duncan beating Asia Davis to the bucket. Gets that one to fall. And then a little later, Angelo State trying to play catch up. Chitsy, the Wald native, over to Schultz, who puts it off the glass and in, and the Bells fall in this one. 
And it was the Rams' turn to tip off LSC action against Lubbock Christian. Took a while for a shot to fall for either team. LCU gets it going off this three from Ty Castle. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Chaps up 5-0 to zero now. But how about this great ball movement by ASU? Ronald Bell passes to Andres Ibargdon, and he slams it home. Oh, yeah. 5-2 LCU leads. And then later, Cameron Reedus trying to fake out his defender with the jab step. Jab step, jab step. He fires and knocks down the three. Such a smooth move by Reedus getting the shot to fall. Rams trailing by two. Nine to eight now. LCU leads until Jeremy Hayes finds Ronald Bell off the glass and in. That gives Angelo State a 10 to 9 lead. The Rams grind out the win. Angelo State takes it 73 to 63. I did some early shopping this year. One for you, one for me. I love it. I got us a little something, too. Yeah? Yep. One for you, and one for me. I love it. Oh, actually, that was supposed to be for me. I love it. I like red. During the GMC Black Friday event, get over 8,300 below MSRP on the Cicadia Denali. Plus, current eligible non-GM owners get nearly 2,100 additional purchase cash. Visit Mitchell Buick GMC in San Angelo. Bacon Mac and Cheese Bites are the perfect comfort snack. I needed some comfort, man. It's been a tough day. What'd you do? Well, I only got 10 hours of sleep. Oh. Get them while they're hot. Bacon Mac and Cheese or Chili Cheese Bites are $2.99. Welcome back to Season Pass. It's time to crown our Player of the Week. And this week, he goes to right side hitter Kaylin Gilbert. The Bells were just destined to win the Lone Star Conference Championship after the regular season they had, but it didn't come easy in the LSC Tournament. Angelo State was pushed to the brink in two of its three matches, defeating both Arkansas Fort Smith and Tarleton State in five sets. And Gilbert played a huge role in the Bells' success through the tournament in three matches. The Fort Worth native fueled the Bells offense with a team high 46 kills, hitting a 283 in the process. She also contributed defensively, tallying 14 digs and seven block assists. She's a newly crowned Lone Star Conference champion, Kaylin Gilberth, this week's Player of the Week. Player of the Week is sponsored by Southwest Pools and Spas. And we're running out of time here, so let's go ahead and wrap this thing up. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in to Season Pass tonight. You can check out all of our content on ContraValleyHomePage.com. If, if you're mobile savvy, go ahead and download that Contra Valley Homepage app on your smartphone. We'll be right back here at the same time next week. Set a reminder. Good night, Contra Valley. Season Pass, sponsored by Kelly Grimsley-Kia.